Hello everybody, this is SB Sway, and I'm going to be explaining to you the trick shotting in Black Ops 2. This video will give you some of the best tips and tricks on how to trick shot in Black Ops 2 so you're ready when you get the game. Starting with things such as YY, which a lot of people. There's a lot of speculation that there was no YY in this game, and there is a YY in this game as this clip demonstrates. You will be rewarded for uh, the YY is slightly delayed from how you see it in Modern Warfare 2 and previous Call of Duty games. What I mean by that is, when you press YY, there's like a limit to how fast it can be. You can't tap YY as fast as your fingers go, there's a slight limit, but it still works and you can still do trick shots. And here, uh, I'm going to show you that equipment cancels are back in Black Ops 2. Uh, they are not quite the same as they were in another COD game. You have to YY after you pull out the equipment, similar to uh, how it was in Black Ops 1. And it also doesn't show in the kill cam, as you can see my gun flips, but you never see the throwing knife icon. This Also, be sure to remember to use any perk besides fast hands in the perk 2 slot, because fast hands will ruin your double tap Y, and it'll be the same as it is in MW3, which is what you don't want. And in this shot, you see a fade shot, and uh, fade shots are back in Black Ops 2. They're not quite as easy as they were in Modern Warfare 2. Probably easier than they were in Modern Warfare 3, or about the same. Uh, but with the double tap Y being a little slow, there's still Black Ops, there's still double tap Y, remember that? But uh, it is a little slow, and the Infinity Fade is also back as well. There's also some attachments required for shots like this. And I'm going to go into detail on the attachments and perks at the end of this video. And the attachments and perks in Black Ops 2 are actually extremely important for trick shotting. So you really should watch that. Another thing, uh, this is this this shot here is the stutter step, uh, a popular shot in Modern Warfare 2 and other Call of Duty games, and it is back in uh, Black Ops 2. Also, the zoom load is back. It doesn't look the same as it does in Modern War Every Call of Duty game zoom load looks different. I mean, different game engine, different zoom load, but same thing. The top spin is back. I just did show you with a little fakey top spin to uh, make it look a little better. And the perk dexterity, which allows you to climb things faster, uh, including ladders, I guess. It would ruin your ability to top spin, so be sure to not use that. I'll go into more detail on those types of perks and what type of class setup you should have for a, uh, for a trick shotting class at the end of this video. Also, I'm, my, I'm gonna point out now you should uh, like and favorite so far so everyone can uh, see this and learn how to trick shot in Black Ops 2 so they don't waste time trying to figure this stuff out. And here's another shot with a ladder. It's a, uh, that was a ladder stall, suicide ladder stall, which um, not quite the same as the legend ladder in, the Mon in Modern Warfare 2, but Still pretty cool uh, spot, if I must say. And here is my uh, first. This is like a main. This is a trick shot class that I really would, would like to use. Uh, I'm gonna start with the primary. That's that's one of the two bolt action snipers, the DSR 50, and uh, it's really powerful. So far from playing the game, I haven't gotten a lot of hit markers with it, surprisingly, which is something that's always a complaint in most Call of Duty games. And uh, then I'm gonna go into perks. Perk one, lightweight. Lightweight is one of your main perks as a trick shotter. In this game, lightweight uh, cancels your falling damage, so I recommend using uh, lightweight in all situations. The second perk really doesn't matter that much. It's up to your personal preference and ha uh, how you want to play and get to get your team the last kill to trick shot is really what it comes down to. Just remember to not use fa uh, fast hands, and then. Uh, it switch this these two switched, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Uh, this is just another class, all right. And then for the perk three, I highly recommend using uh, anything besides dexterity, as dexterity hurts your ability to top spin. And uh, lethal, I would recommend using anything but a claymore because claymores you cannot uh, equipment cancel with. And tactical, I would use something that stuns the enemy. Uh, they aren't necessarily all that great for trick shotting, or tactical insertion can always be useful for team deathmatch type situations. Another major new thing in Black Ops 2 is the shock charge. 
it's placed like a bouncing Betty or Claymore and uh, when an enemy walks into it they're temporarily fro frozen for two to three seconds which can be really useful for hitting trick shots and it's something I would recommend. Black Ops 2, the attachments are really important for trick shotting and for everything actually. Uh, the attachments can really make or break you as a trick shotter. If you don't have the right attachments you'll be at a strong disadvantage. There are three main attachments that I would recommend using and you're only allowed to have up to two attachments on your primary weapon so you have to pick two out of these three depending on what map or what you want as or what type of shots you go for. The first main attachment I would use in all cases is the laser sight. The laser sight is uh, similar to steady aim that was in many of the other Call of Duty games which increases hip fire accuracy. Now that's really important to trick shotters because it increases your ability to hit no scopes which is one of the main things for a trick shot. Attachment that I would recommend for you to put on your trick shotting class is fast mags. Fast mags act as sleight of hand did in the other Call of Duties and this allows you to reload faster. This is very important for uh, trick shots such as the fade shot or cock shots where you need to reload your gun quickly and this and it also can help you re uh, get kills and get to last as well. Uh, my The last attachment that I'd recommend is FMJ and FMJ it doesn't increase your damage as many people think but uh, it allows your bolts to shoot through walls better which is useful if you like to go for wall bangs or um, even if you're just trying to kill the enemy uh, in a normal situation it's use it can be really useful so those are the top three attachments I would recommend a lot of the other attachments aren't be that beneficial for trick shotting it's up to you you're allowed to have uh, two attachments those are just what I recommend also if you guys found this video useful or enjoyed it it would mean a lot to me if you could just hit the like and favor button I put a lot a lot of time and effort into making this video and there it really is the first of its kind so I didn't have much to work with I found out most of this stuff all by myself so if you guys could just hit the like button that would mean a lot thanks everyone hope you guys hit some sick trick shots in black ops 2 now